Hello, Commander. Work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. Yeah, so scientists still fill basically the same role in the previous game, where they just kind of accumulate and make your research faster. Dr. Shen's constant vigil over my activities is starting to wear thin. I consider myself a patient man, but eventually, she's going to have to trust me if we're going to achieve our goals. Whereas engineers are actually like used for stuff. Commander, you're not gonna believe this. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator beacon. It's definitely one of ours, from the original invasion. I know it sounds crazy, but if there's any chance some of our people could still be out there, I think we owe it to them to find out. Commander, our long-range our long range sensors just picked up an emergency locator beacon transmitting on a frequency we haven't used since the invasion. It may be a long shot, but, but it's possible someone could have survived out there. We should investigate as soon as possible. I got, lit I got literally nothing else to do but get intel, so sure. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. New facility, resistance comms, new research, resistance radio, research, resistance contacts available. Resistance communications, codename, Cypher. Although conceptually the idea of establishing a radio-based communication system for the purposes of organizing a resistance movement is nothing new, harkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars, what we hope to accomplish here is, no, is still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals, with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with Chief, with, Chief, with Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the aliens' own communications equipment from within the Avenger itself. From studying the surviving, lo the, uh, the surviving log files, we've discovered an astounding number of simultaneous communications being distributed through their network at any given time. This has proven to be the key to our proposed solution. With so much traffic flowing through the alien network, it should be relatively easy for us to disguise our own transmissions among, uh, among theirs. Using the Avenger as our central hub, we can establish a communications network linking resistance outpo outposts around the globe. Every new contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. Resistance comms. Cool. I'm not sure what the autopsies actually get us. Mac weapons I want to get down like 10 days before we do it. For now, it's just do hybrid materials because that gets us uh, closer to our tier two uh, armor. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Tigan just sent word: the new Resistance Communications Network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. We can now we can now contact West Africa. In South Africa. Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. Yep, do it in a bit. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. New item available, nanoscale vest, new research available, plated armor. That's the tier two armor. Co or hybrid materials. Code name Slicker. With limited resources available to outfit our troops, up until now they've had to make do with whatever makeshift armor Shen managed to piece together from their various scrap materials, or them from various scrap materials. Relying on methods that might that might otherwise seem outdated, we've developed a means of producing a multi-layered nanofiber weave capable of withstanding direct impacts as well as any as well as any traditional armor without the added weight. Our troops will still have to exercise caution. Even the nanofiber has its limits. It may, it may be best suited to our forces who rely on agility over pure stopping power. In any case, I imagine our soldiers will be pleased to see any improvements over their current equipment. Our specialist doesn't wear a shirt, Tygen. Yeah. Cannot do plated armor because we don't have alloys. Let's do resistance radio, I guess. Eh. Let's do the autopsies. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common Advent trooper is seemingly human, 
The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Okay, three days on that. Guerrilla Tactics School now operational. Okay, you can train as a specific class now. Cool. Combat tactics is all of these. Go ahead and get squad size one. Supplies, supplies. Wet work. Ooh, wet work we should probably try to get quickly. And then a lot of these require, yep, they require ranks. And potentially even uh, specific classes. And it's like specific to that kind of class because, yeah, plus 10% chance to crit with the uh, sharpshooter, etc., etc. Well, squad size 2 for 75, and you need a captain. Where's that? Stay with me. Wet work, wet work. There you are, wet work. Oh, so th these are the ones we can currently get, duh. If we have enough money. But we'd like to get 200, cre or 200 supplies if possible. For now... There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Okay, let me back out. You there. Excellent that. Game. Oh, cool. There we go. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. I, okay, so I think you need an engineer in order to in order to clear an area. You don't need an engineer to have to have facilities work. Two days. Supply drop, which is our monthly council thing in three days. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification... Massive signal started. coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you'll want to see this. Fellow citizens... For 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crumb. radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Outline territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. <laughs> Operation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Squad ready to move on the resistance haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Welcome to the retaliation missions. These are the terror missions of the game. Setting course for East Africa. Okay. I'm realistically sharp. Uh, we take that. Good, we got, our, we got our upgrade. So we have specialist, sniper, assault, second sniper. So this is our actual sniper, this is our gunslinger. Okay. It feels so silly to change your colors, but sure, let's put you in yellow because you're a specialist. Wait, new veteran customization options. 
Additional customization options are now available for our, new, for our newly promoted veteran soldiers. Customization options are like your clothes and such. Also, PCSs, personal combat stims. Sure, uh, I'll give that to the assault, actually. Uh, customize. We want your primary color to be that really bright yellow. There we go. And secondary to just be black or whatever. You are our assault. With an upgrade. All right, that's the 15% chance. Oh, we want to give that to someone good, actually. Customize. Okay, your assault, so we want your primary... Oh, there we go. Main armor color. Right as hell blue. And it's like... No, don't do that. I'm going to get confused if I do that. Just stick with black as the undercolor for now. I might change it up later, because if everyone's whatever on black, it's going to get really boring. I think that normally what I do is that I have, like, snipers on white as usual, but then gunslingers on black. Main armor. Here, white, or he's as close as he can get. You know what? Let's double up on that, actually, just that they're a lot more vibrant. You... There you go. Customize you. There you go. You're still a rookie, so whatever. You are a gunslinger, so I'll put you in full black. No, not skin color. that, and we don't have any other items to do, so sure, let's go. Sky Ranger, deploy. Squad green to deploy. Advent so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area, and they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. Okay. Uh, resistance mission or whatever it is, retaliation mission, Operation Star Fist. Let's go. Boop, boop. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay. Start with the assault. Go over here. Moving. Go on. Head to the ship. Now, as like with the previous game, you do want to rescue as many of these people as possible, but as with the previous game, killing the enemies is kind of the main goal. Moving on target location. We've got Advent here! Ooh, we got bad Advent. Please move. Okay. Sniper. 88. Dead Eye. 66. Normal shot is 88. Does have a chance to kill, so let's go for it. Good. Five with the pistol. Good. Hostile neutralized. Okay, it looks like enemies are gonna be primarily in this direction then. On the move. You go over here for full cover and in line with everyone else. I can handle that. Now. Two overwatches. Oh. They got a sectoid over there.
Yeah, definitely can't see the sectoid through that, so let's just move you up. Good to go. No vision. Good. Moving on target location. I'll be honest, I don't like moving in this direction just because there's not a lot of great cover to do to uh take. There's enough, but it's just not a comfortable path in my mind. Whatever you say. There is a way out through here, I assume. You basically go out through the window. Okay. Go here then. No vision from the rookie, good. Just move you to somewhere over here, I guess. He is still a sniper, I gotta keep that in mind. I'm using him I'm using him as a gunslinger, but he has a rifle. We saw where? Right there. Put you here. There now. Advent force is sighted. Okay. Twenty seven percent. Cannot grenade, though I can get the car, but that looks like it's probably already exploded. Okay. Not surprising that we missed, just not great. Do you have slash? You do not have slash. Good copy. Moving on target. Still no. Full cover blocking line of sight, I'm gonna guess. Don't have a great option here, honestly. I'm going. Nothing. Orders confirmed. On the move. Take you over here. Finally. Does not get vision. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. I just don't have a good angle to attack either of them. <laughs> We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. I agree. Solid hit. Get it together. Oh, come on. Oh, mind control? No, Psy Zombie. Pretty sure they can still mind control. Miss. I'm on the fire. Yeah, the AI is a lot more intelligent this time. They understand how to uh, how to group up slash not group up. Over forty-seven. Understandable miss. Adjusting sights. Go for the slash. On you. That's probably better uh, cover. Nailed him. And that goes down. And I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, and I'm back. Oh, wait. No vision of you. 67, go for it. Okay, so we saw there was also a sectoid over in this direction somewhere. Let's be careful about this, though. Don't move people too that. far away from each other. Rolling. Come get down. That's four down. We need to save at least six. The twelve or eighteen total. Looks like it's a total of 12. 
Just there so you can get some elevation and actually use your sniper rifle for stuff. Heading there now. No problem, boss. You there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, that was good. Cool, works for me. It's 51, but it's also we're not getting anything better. Okay, four damage. I'm worried that's going to block line of sight, actually. Right. You. I'll try for the 33. Cool. Ah. Uh, that. about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. So this is a good thing. I know, it sounds weird. That basically means that this is the only enemy left on the map. Because that only happens without... Or that only happens uh, away from you if there are no other enemies remaining. It can happen close to you if you try to rescue a civilian, and they turn out to be this thing. But, clearly we're nowhere near it, so that's not what's happening. So I'll move you here. You say. Overwatch. Now. Go ahead and shoot it, just so we can get some damage, hopefully. Cool. On reserves. Then you to up. Here, uh, is there a cover there? There is cover. Moving to designated position. Cannot shoot it, so just overwatch. Overwatch. Oh yeah, you regen. I forgot about that. Cool. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Finally got that flawless mission. Granted, four civilians died, but we don't care about them for this number. Fifty percent success. One point seventeen enemies killed per turn, and whatever cover bonus I think that is. Dealt most damage is our sniper. Made most attacks is assumedly our assault. Most under fire is our uh, gunslinger. Moved furthest is our sniper because yeah, she did run to get up to the top, which actually might have caused a difference because uh, that was a pretty low shot percent shot. Blah, blah, pretty low shot percentage still. Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. Hell yeah. Okay, Rookie, what you got? Rookie is a specialist. Okay, I can make a combat now. Or a combat specialist now. Now, if I press continue, does that go back to the uh, soldiers? Yes, good. Okay. Assault up to the next level. I forgot. Assaults get to play with concealment and swords. They're both so fun. <laughs> okay, I'd say I say swords are more outright fun, but phantoms, or the phantom root is really good, or scout. So phantom, when squad is revealed, this soldier remains concealed. That is really good. Like scout is the right name for for that uh, path. Blade master, all swords do plus two damage and have plus ten aim. I hate that I need to choose is pretty much my best way is pretty much the best way I can phrase this. I'm gonna go for this because more damage and there's gonna be other sword stuff as you go further. 
Oh, man, Phantom is also pretty good. And then our uh, Gunslinger up to the next level, so we're going to build you as a Gunslinger. So this is when something shoots at him, he returns fire once per turn. This is probably one of the lesser Gunslinger abilities, but eh, whatever. One Illyrium Core, one officer, one Advent Officer Corpse, three Advent Trooper Corpses, two Sectoid Corpses, one Faceless Corpse. Faceless Autopsy Research Unlocked. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. Income for Africa increased by 15 supplies, and we got that before the monthly takeover, so that's actually really good. And now I have almost no money. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the mission and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for you many times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day, and hope to see you in the next one, where we will probably set up uh, resistance comms or something, now that we have that unlocked. And we're going to get the monthly tick over, so we're going to get Before up to, like... Before made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the Resistance. So we'll be able to get wet work pretty quickly. <laughs> I should probably just ignore the incidental dialogue. Anyway, that's it for me for today, so thank you, for, thank you all very much for joining me. For joining me. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.